Hey, this is your boy, Charles Zyri, Executive Vice President of My Econ. And I get this question a lot. What is My Econ? What is it that y'all do? Okay, just to make it simple, our mission is to empower people to attain personal financial success. So what is personal financial success? Personal financial success is having enough cash flow to support your lifestyle during your working years and your financial freedom years. Now, during your working years, your money should come from your job and or a business. Now, do you, during your financial freedom years, your money should come from your assets and or your investment. So what I want to talk to you today about is getting in the game getting in the financial game. Now, this was shown to me a few months back by a man named Terrence Hill, okay? He showed me this and um, I liked it, so I started sharing it with uh, my family and friends. The good thing about it is it turns the light on, gives you something to think about. So hopefully, uh, my goal today is to give you something to think about. Uh, what is your financial situation? What does it look like? So just give me a minute and let me get out of the way here so I can explain the game, okay? Just a second. Okay. The financial game, all right, here we go. Okay, just like in any game, there's four quarters. Okay, four quarters. And a lot of times at the end of the fourth quarter, the game goes into OT, which they call overtime. Now in the financial game, OT stands for out of time. Now, the Social Security Administration says the age 50, 65 is your retirement age. 65 is your retirement age. But also, let me tell you what the Social Security Administration says about the age 65, that out of 100 people by the 65th birthday, 36 of them will already be dead. 54 of them will be financially dependent upon a loved one or some type of social service. Five people, five people will still be working at the age of 65. Imagine that. Four out of 100 will be financially uh, stable, successful, but only one will be wealthy. So just think about that, okay? So uh, most people work for 40 years. So I'm going to back 40 years off of the age 65, which will start your working career off at 25. So that's good because that gives us enough time to go to college, make good grades, to get a good job, and start a successful career. So the first quarter of your working years will start from 25 to 35. The second quarter will start from 36 to 45. The third quarter, 46 to 55. The fourth quarter, 56 to 65. Okay? So these are your working quarter years so most people work for 40 years so let's say you're making twenty five thousand dollars a year now don't worry about the income because it's not about how much money you make it's about how much money you keep so we're just using twenty five thousand dollars as an example now i can tell you twenty five thousand dollars is on the low low scale of a successful career okay so we're going to use twenty five thousand just to prove a point so when you take twenty five thousand and multiply that by 40 years that's one million dollars that you would have earned over the 40 year career okay one million dollars now remember it's not about the money you make it's about the money you keep see income is measured in dollars but cash flow is measured in time so we know that there's 52 weeks in a year but most people like to take vacations so we're going to take two weeks out 
so we can spend time with our families, friends, and loved ones, okay? So we're going to work 50 weeks in a year for 40 hours a week. That's 2,000 hours that we're going to be trading time for money, okay? So you're spending 2,000 hours of your time to exchange for money on a job. Now, there's nothing wrong with a job, and I'm not bashing the job because I'm thankful for my job, okay? And we would always say be thankful for a job because a lot of people don't have one. But don't be satisfied with it, okay? So now let's look at this. In five years, you would have given up 10,000 out on a job. In 15 years, you'll be giving up 30,000 hours. And in 25 years, 50,000 hours. Now here's my question. How much money have you kept of your hard-earned working dollars? Okay, remember, not about how much money we make, how much money have we, do we keep, okay? So just think if you was to save $1 for every hour you work, in five years, you'll have $10,000. Now, this is what I'm going to call mattress money. You should be able to lift up your mattress and pull $10,000 out, okay? Now, that's old school, so I know most people is going to walk into a bank. But whether you're walking into a bank or lifting up your mattress, you should just be able to have $10,000 if you work 10,000 hours over a course of five years. Now, this is not uh, emergency money. This is not uh, an investment money. This is after all the bills are paid. This is just money you should just have laying around. You should just, at any given time, you should just be able to walk into a bank, lift up your mattress, and just take out $10,000. Okay, so in 15 years, we should be able to do 30,000. And in 25 years, you guessed it, we should have $50,000. So what I want you to do now is think about where do you sit in the game? What quarter are you in? And how many hours have you worked? And how much money have you kept? Okay, now if you're just starting out a career, Hey, I would really suggest that you save that one dollar, okay? Because you can see it adds up. Now, if you're like me, I'm 47 years old, so I'm in the third quarter. So if you're in the third or fourth quarter and you have and you don't have this type of money, it's okay. It's not too late. There's one thing I like about a team that's down and they come back and win. Everybody likes to see the underdog come back and win the game. Okay, so no matter where what quarter you're in, when you're ready to start, hey, you can get in and still win the game. Okay, that's what I love about my econ. That's what I love. It's the education. We will show you how to increase your positive cash flow. Okay, so if you want to get in the game, maybe you're sitting on the sideline, on the bench, or maybe you're sitting in your car in the parking lot. OK, it doesn't matter if you want to get in the game, inbox me and say, put me in the game, coach. If you're seeing this video because somebody thought enough of you to share this information with you, get with that person that shared that video and say, hey, put me in the game, coach. My econ have some powerful coaches. All right. All they do is win, 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 no matter what. OK, so we got people that's been in this game and retired at 22 years old. Can you imagine that? Retired at 22 years old. That's like little league football, and, and you're beating the team so bad, the referee just called the game at halftime, say, he blow the whistle. Hey, game over. Game over, all right? So we got um, many of people that's in the military that, that, that got in the game before they retired out of the military. But when they retired out of the military, they retired for good. Game over, okay? They, a hey, game over in the third quarter, okay? So it's not too late. So get in the game. And thanks, Terrence Hill, for showing this to me. Uh, I hope it, it do for you what it did for me. And uh, he always says the biggest room there is is the room for improvement. So I always say you don't know 
what you don't know. We all can learn and grow. So uh, I want to see you on the upside of success. All right. Hey, again, my name is Charles Ivory, Executive Vice President of My Econ. Get at me. Put me in the game, coach. <laughs>